Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Core Class Slug, or as most of us are probably going to call him Slag, but whatever. We're going to see him there in front of the box. We'll go ahead and put it on the side real quick, because, yep, box time. Yep, you see a bluish box with some green on it. Legacy Evolution Transformers. You got his alt mode up here, uh, surrounded in green energy of some sort. You got the Legacy Evolution up here. You got the robot mode on this side with the Core Class and all that stuff. On this side, you have the uh, some line line artwork. From various figures you're gonna see in this line. You got the on the bottom you have the uh, what's included, and the back, of course, you have copyrights and warnings and product shots. And yes, he is number two of six for Volcanicus. And there you go. Also, you got the instructions, which actually weirdly enough leave out a couple important details. Weirdly, I, it's because it's kind of bizarre. There's actually a couple of important things left out in the instructions. I'll get to those when I get to those, but also there's a is the uh, QR code for the uh, tech specs and whatnot. So anyway, Slug. He is, well, a new version, a core version of Slag. You can see uh, that. And you're looking at up front, you can see, yeah, he's got the big old red face. He's got his uh, shiny blue eyes. He's got his red and gray on the chest. you got the gray and black and gray and some gold feet there. And you got his uh, Triceratops hoodie and all that stuff. Now, a couple things. Um... This is how it's in the box, and this is kind of like more or less tell you to do things, but it feels like this was not how it's intended to be. But I'll get into that a little bit. But yeah, he's got his uh, little gun here, which is just the tail. You've got this, I guess, little double barreled thing. You know, he's got a little peg back here, which, you know, pegs in his hand. And there you go. He's got a gun. And, uh, yep. Pretty straightforward that. But yeah, he's, he's not like sludge in that he's not as heavily compromised the only thing would be well one thing is his head kind of isn't actually attached where his uh, head is his robot head anyway it's attached to this head so you, when you like move it there's a gap and as you can see um his arms are kind of short for his proportions but other than that he doesn't have any bizarre articulation like sludge did but uh well mostly but yeah up here though speaking of um his head can go left and right. It's on a ball joint. You got left and right and a little bit of up and down, but again, you see up and down, you kind of are going to make the head look separated, but not the end of the world, possibly. But uh, shoulders are in this weird, like, you know, dual hinge thing. You got, you know, full rotation. You got outward, really far, actually. Again, no elbows. Uh, here's the weird thing. Um, there is a waist swivel here, but you have to open this up, which if you do open it up, it actually also looks more like the sludge like usually does he kind of has a bit of a backpack flared out backpack which i this is i'm going to how i might have him was just this open like this because generally it actually kind of looks better and if you have this on the other side it makes him look weird but if you have this open like this it just looks better and also frees up again the waist swivel which works just fine uh, ball jointed hips so you got that forward and back and outward pretty good um, the knees, well, they're ball joints as well. So you got, of course, really deep knee bend and well, this will act as a swivel. I guess these can move out of the way, but yeah, there's not a whole lot here. And that's pretty much your lot when it comes to slug, slag. Yeah. Now comparisons first. Yeah. Studio series. Slug, again, you can see quite the size difference. So is that. And of course, his teammate Sludge, right there next to each other. Sludge is actually a bit shorter too, which is interesting. Sludge is also very wide. So you got all that stuff. Now, transformation is well, again, pretty simple. Not a simple sludge, but still pretty simple. Anyway, take the gun out of his hand. First thing you want to do is take this and just flip that up to cover his face. You want to go ahead and take the, the shoulders here. You want to bring them out and rotate them around like this so that this dino foot is now facing the right way. Bring this out and rotate this around right here like that. Go ahead and close this up and tap, take that together like that. And then go ahead and tab the uh, legs together and then bring these feet down like this and rotate this in and this there's these tabs will kind of go in this slot right there and like that and straighten out the legs you know as they're supposed to be and then take the tail here and there's a peg hole and a peg and you just go ahead and plug that in and there you go um there's slug in his dino mode and yeah it's a it's a decent it's a decent uh 
uh, tri- Triceratops. I mean, he's, he's kind of, well, again, kind of weedy down here. He's ho- hollow is a weird word to describe because it's like, that's not a hole in the hit. It's not necessarily a hole so much as just he got liposuction or something. Cause you know, there's like nothing there, but you know, you got the gold, you got the nice blue eyes on the Triceratops. You got the Autobot symbol. You got the horns and the frill and all that. You got the gold and all that stuff. And it's, it's all right for a core class. It's not too bad. I mean, this is kind of, you know, again, kind of empty, but again, there's kind of a kind of compromise is necessary for this one. Um, articulation, he does actually have articulation. I mean, that can open and close, although you're revealing the mouth, uh, the head, and also it's going to look weird. And again, this is this is kind of open, open up and close too, to help with that a little bit. These are the same as the shoulders. So you got forward and back and outward and all that stuff. And this is the weird, that weird co full ratchet thing. Yeah. Um, Got all that, and these can swivel back and forth, and I guess nothing really there. And that's pretty much your lot articulation-wise. There's more, but it's really not going to be super helpful because of how he um, stands and everything. But it's all right. Anyway, um, real quick comparison. There's the Studio Series 86 Slug. Of course, significantly larger and just chunkier and better in almost every way. <laughs> but you know. 55 50-ish dollars versus, you know, $12. So uh yeah, makes sense that. And of course, here he is with again with Sludge, who's well kind of tiny now I'm looking at it. He just looks small in general. So there's that whole thing. Now, of course, he does have a combined mode, which actually doesn't really matter which mode he's in, robot or uh vehicle, um alt mode. It's about takes about the same amount of effort to get there anyway. Which way first take this, pop that off, then go ahead and take these uh, legs. You're gonna have to move them out a bit so you can go ahead and then flare these out like that, and then you close this back up like that. Just leave those legs hanging. Now here's one part they don't tell you in the instructions. They kind of tell you to go from robot mode and like they tell you to do it like this. That's wrong. Um, what you need to do is. You need to have these pegs outward, and there's this tab right here, and a slot right there, and just go ahead and tab that in like that. And I don't know why they don't tell you to do that in the instructions, it's bizarre. It's like a, just a blatant oversight. And on top of that here, the fin the tail, if you don't drop it, um, take this, unpeg this, and you look, it's a head. It's Volcanicus's head, you can see, you know, black gold, red visor, looks Grimlock-esque, and that's just pegs in right here. And you can see that is the, uh, well, Upper torso, you can do whatever the heck you want with these legs. You kind of, you know, angle them back or forward, whatever, as you'll see in a second. But, um, yeah. Now, I'm not going to really do the full, com- I'm not going to combine them all, like, as they come in. But this is kind of a special exception because of the way these guys work. The rest of the, like, the limbs, I will not be doing the, com- I won't be combining them until I have all of them. So, you won't see that combined mode. I won't, I'm not going to have, like, a one-legged uh, Volcanicus on screen. But anyway, this piece right here, you may be wondering, what's this for? Well, this part attaches to slug or sludge. That's going to trip me up. It turns to sludge. And right here, there's a hole right there in his chest. And you're that peg. And you peg it in right there. Make sure they flay this out. And this, these, how these combine is you have these, now have these three holes. You know, this hole, this hole, and this front hole. And you have these three pegs right here. And these just come together like this and just peg in together. Very nice and tight pegs that too, and then up here you got peg peg holes right here in the arms, and you got pegs right there, and that just comes in to uh, lock that in like that, and there you got the torso for uh, Volcanicus, and that's cool. This is a really solid torso, and you can do kind of whatever again with those like you know that kind of helps stream like the backpack. There's a bit of backpack, but it's nothing too serious. Man, this is the the well the torso for Volcanic. You can see this is where the um, arms are going to peg in. This is where the legs are going to peg in. And yeah, this is uh, this is why also Sludge was so compromised. Yeah, you can see there's going to be the these are going to be the hips for Volcanicus and all that stuff and uh, so on and so forth. Um, that keeps coming undone, but yeah, this is a. This is actually really solid uh, as a torso. It, it comes together real solidly and it hooks together. And if, I'm hoping that these are clearly the rest of them are just going to be pegs. But it feels like if the, these pegs are like the pegs in here, it's going to be just fine um, tightness wise. 
And of course, yeah, you're going to have that waist swivel and the hips right there and the, the heads on a swivel. But yeah, it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, guy overall. I think this is going to be, considering everything, hmm, probably about Voyager size, probably, when it's all said and done. We'll see. Yeah, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much why Sludge is so compromised. You may not like it, and I understand why if you don't like it, but... It's one of those things where I will, in this case, be okay with compromising the robot for the sake of the combiner because, well, I do have the full skate, you know, the full leader class one. So, I don't know. Plus, again, they're going to be probably, uh, they're going to be uh, retooled into either Monstructor or Dino King or possibly both. Not sure yet. And I'm okay. And probably going to be the difference. So, they might be not as compromised, but we'll see. Any which way. This is a really solid torso. I just, this is the one I'm going to, you know, talk. I'm, from here on out, again, I'm not going to start combining them till they're all out but uh i just need to do this one just because we'll explain that this does this does and pulse just kind of i guess slow off a sludge so um yep this is got me excited this but, but this, this torso together actually was got genuinely excited for the full combined mode so we'll see how that works out in the end but um i suppose let's see slag or sludge or slug oh man Slug here is, I think, a actually decent little core figure on his own. Um, the robot mode is mostly pretty decent posable. The only real problems I have with it is just he has no elbows and his arms are kind of short for his uh, torso size and everything. Other than that, he's got a pretty good robot. The alt mode looks pretty decent. It's got a okay, it's just got a pretty fun little fast transformation. And well, when it comes to turn to the torso mode, it goes together really well sludge and makes a really good torso. It just interlocks really nice. They did some really good engineering on that. The interlocking is very simple, but it works really well. Um, so as a standalone figure, yeah, slug, I think is actually a, a good little standalone. If you just want a dino bot, little, little dino bot for whatever reason, slug's not a bad choice. He look and considering what Grimlock looks like. Eh, yeah. he might not be the greatest choice for a standalone either, but uh, we'll see. He might've been trans transformed on that stream, but, um, Slug's not bad as a standalone. Yeah, he is a yeah, but yeah, definitely, you know, for me, it's like, for a lot of us, it's going to be for this combiner, and some people maybe only going to have, I just want a row of, you know, I just want Dinobot, little Dinobots or whatever, but that's fine. If you want just Dinobot, little Dinobots, I'm going to say to look for third party, but, um, but as a standalone core, it's actually pretty good. Probably not the best core, there's, I think there might be, like, I, I would say, like, Iguanus or, uh, Bomb Burst are both better core figures overall, but they don't have to, you know, do three modes. But it's a, it's a decent, it's in the little core. So that there's, that's that. Um, so yeah, as, as a standalone, yeah, go ahead and buy them if you want, maybe you want a standalone, but definitely, definitely you'll need them if you want this whole, uh, Volcanicus thing. So, uh, that's it for this one. I hope you found this before entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe, check out my Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Prime one. Check out my co-host, cohost.com slash Nemesis dash prime. Check out my coffee and Patreon. And I shall see you next time with another video review.